Mercedes-Benz took its time introducing a rival to the VW Tiguan and the BMW X3. The GLK is the Stuttgart-based carmaker's fourth SUV. Its angular design sets it apart from its larger sibling, the ML. Frank Zimmermann says Mercedes-Benz hopes to reach a new clientele with the GLK. It has a distinctive design and isn't just a smaller version of the ML. The GLK shares many of the G model's characteristics, and the car maker is targeting the 40 to 45 age group who enjoy sports and are doing well professionally. In Europe, the target group is more male than female. During the development stages, engineers made a concerted effort to create a real off-roader. He says by pressing the off-road mode button, the throttle is remapped and the transmission's shift points are adjusted, and it activates the off-road anti-lock braking and the traction systems. The electronic assistance programs help compensate for weaknesses in the SUV's design. The GLK can tackle even the most difficult terrain. The compact SUV has a fording depth of 30 centimeters and can even conquer a tilt angle of 35 degrees. Adjustments to the anti-lock braking system and the downhill speed regulation help increase safety on steep terrain. But the new technology isn't cheap. Buyers who want to add the optional off-road package will have to pay around 700 euros extra in Germany but it's certainly worth the investment for anyone looking to take the GLK out on unpaved roads. This test car is the low consumption GLK Blue Efficiency, which won't be ready for market until at least 2009. The exterior design is likely to be almost identical and the car will be equipped with a 220 CDI engine. We asked Frank Zimmerman if the GLK would be offered with the Bluetech motor, which would make it the world's cleanest production SUV. He says Mercedes-Benz has just introduced Bluetech in larger SUVs. The company is still contemplating a Bluetech version of the GLK. A version was even on display at the Geneva Motor Show, but it will be certainly offered in the future. Our test car is equipped with a 320 CDI engine, which is among those currently available. And it's convincing. It generates 224 horsepower and reaches a maximum speed of 220 kilometers per hour. According to Mercedes-Benz, the GLK also consumes under 8 liters of fuel per 100 kilometers. Inside the cockpit, the three-stroke steering wheel grabs your attention. High-quality materials and well-arranged controls and instrument gauges make it easy to find your way around. In Germany, the Mercedes GLK 320 CDI costs around 46,000 euros. The new GLK is produced exclusively at the Mercedes factory in Bremen. Audi is set to release their new high-performance SUV, the Q5, in the fourth quarter this year. The Q5 will be at home both around town and off-road with a whopping 20-centimeter clearance. And hill descent control will also come as a standard feature. The Q5 will be available either as a petrol model or with Audi's direct injection diesel. Engines will range from 170 to 240 horsepower. BMW is revamping its compact Executive 3 Series with a new range of engines. Ten different motors are now available for both sedan and touring models, five petrol and five diesel. All models come with plenty of energy-saving technologies to reduce fuel consumption. It's not just under the hood that the 3 Series has had an overhaul. The exterior also has a new sporty touch.
Dyke Castle is one of the most beautiful castles in the Rhine Valley, but it's not the only thing attracting tourists to the region. The Dyke Castle Classic Days is one of a kind vintage car show. The automobiles are not only showcased in the Concours d'Elegance, they also have to prove their roadworthiness in a historical race. Visitors are encouraged to dress in their finest threads from bygone eras and drive their own classic or printage cars to the event. This man says the show is becoming more popular, like Goodwood in England. It has a broad range of cars which are fantastic, and so are the people. This year's show took place amid a wonderful atmosphere and sunshine. The priceless vehicles were showcased during a drive through the castle park, and they were evaluated by a jury. This woman says she came here to see all the beautiful cars and enjoy the flair. She thinks it's simply wonderful. This Rolls-Royce Phantom II is called the Star of India, and it's one of the most valuable cars on display. But not only flashy vehicles win over the hearts of the jury and spectators. This Arnold Bristol Bolita in original condition was also awarded a prize. Besides the Concours d'Elegance, participants can take part in races. There are a range of classes where famous drivers and race cars can show what they've got. Former race car driver Jochen Maas says this is a 1908 Benz Grand Prix car that placed third in the first Grand Prix in Deepa. He says two Mercedes won. Benz and Mercedes were different companies back then. This is a four-cylinder engine with 12 liters of displacement and around 120 to 130 horsepower. The participants are certainly not out for a Sunday drive. This one says they drive fast. Some of the races start just the way races used to start, at the 24 hours of Le Mans. That means the drivers have to run to their cars. Then they have to find an opening and mix in with the others as they tackle the race course. This original 1955 Mercedes Silver Arrow was driven by Hans Hermann. He won the 24 hours of Le Mans and took part in a total of 18 Grand Prix races. Hans Hermann says he has good memories when he gets into the car. He really enjoys recalling the past. This was the third edition of the Dyke Castle Classic Days, but the event is already well established in the vintage car scene.